But this conflict halfway around the world is being felt here in central Ohio. Dozens rallied today near the Ohio State University calling for an end to those attacks in Gaza. 10 TV's Jennifer Gerald spoke with demonstrators who say this is now a humanitarian crisis. Jen? Yes, they contend what's going on in Israel is one-sided and Israel is the aggressor. But I spoke with others with knowledge of the conflict who see things much differently. Hey, hey! Oh, oh. Their voices are loud. Israel apologize! That's too far! But their message is peace. We feel that this is a, um, a uncalled for, unwarranted use of force. Their flags and signs, a show of support for the Palestinians. There's so many people suffering and we just need to hold Israel accountable and being one of their biggest allies, we have the power to do that in the United States. They are chanting and marching for an end to the airstrikes in Gaza. It's all the time, all day long. An Israeli staying here in Columbus is alerted each time his homeland is bombed. There's like thousands of missiles going to Israel from all over the country. People cannot do anything. They cannot continue with their routine. They cannot uh, go to school. They cannot go to work. Barbuel says he's always on the phone with his family. Larry Levine is also keeping an eye on what's happening in Israel. He runs the website Israel Watch. He calls the Israeli army the most moral in the world. They're doing everything they can to try to stop civilians from being killed. There is no Jew, no Israeli that savers killing civilians. But these demonstrators contend the opposite. Despite their opposing views, both sides have the same hope of peace. Both groups tell me they plan to hold rallies next Saturday here in Columbus. Jennifer Gerald, 10TV News.